And what Karina does for the girls that are new here, it is so brilliant. So she has this, is it a company, Earth School? Is that your Nonprofit. company? Nonprofit. Nonprofit. Yep. Okay. So her nonprofit is called Earth School. And last book club, we talked about creating an outlet for women who are artists, artists, whether it's writing a book or a dancer or anything that you feel is your creative side to come out. And she created Art School to um, have that outlet for all of these women. So you ladies are welcome to join that. Karina, will you put another post in our group just to remind and invite the girls? It's really sure. beautiful. Because there's so much art that's highlighted in the book. Even Nesta dancing, her form of art, it's really beautiful. So how has that been? What are some things that you've noticed with women coming out and expressing their art? It's been insanely cool. Um, like I was just reflecting on, it's been a month, right? Because we just had, it's been like a month and a couple of weeks because we had just at the start of the year. Everything that has evolved within that space since really just like me deciding, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, with even just watching you in the months before we even started book club and, um, just feeling inspired to direct my platform more toward my mission and my purpose, like was definitely momentum building up. But when we had that conversation last month in book club and it was like, okay, no, we're going to host these calls now. Since then, so many things have happened. When I tell you we have women, I like my clock on my phone and you could probably relate to this, Alexis, and maybe some other women since we're around the world. It's like New York, Manila, Philippines, Amsterdam, <laughs> yeah. Australia, India, Cape Town, South Africa, and Dubai. I'm like, oh, like I need to keep track of where all my girls are at and what time. Yes. <laughs> I but love how international the community is. It's insane. And so many things have evolved and it's definitely been in alignment with the randomest I never would have thought, but like reading fantasy fiction, like because our life is such, it, we can romanticize our world without it being um, actually fiction. Like it's, it's our reality. So I'll try to keep it succinct, but I was aligned with these women in the Philippines and this woman was telling me of how her friend from when she was a you know in grade school is a, a teacher at a school in this indigent indigenous community there in like the poorest region. And these children, there's 400 students. They walk two hours in either direction to get to school. They don't have shoes. They don't have food. Like they get to school with empty bellies and don't have anything but a single piece of paper. And like with my platform being Art Heals Earth School and I'm having this conversation with her, I'm like, I know God didn't put me to speak with you for no reason. So we decided to really partner up and have host art classes and all of the tuition for the weekly art classes is going toward those children, is going toward the women in that community and the women in our community as well, so that we can be contributing our skill sets. For example, um, she's not here right now, but she was on the first book call. Ida is a woman who's out in, um, oh gosh, I'm blanking where she's, uh, Sweden, and she's going to start like writing the newsletter and things like that. So like, even if tuition is not something that we as the women in the collective can afford right now, we all are valid contributors in some way. And so we've been all collectively teaming up. And since then, I, as a projector, I'm supposed to wait for the invitation. So I was invited actually. Um, and I would like to invite you as well, Alexis, to uh, be a speaker at a round table for the United Nations Summit for Women. And this is an event happening virtually um, on March 20th. I was asked to be an ambassador for an organization called the Lifesavers International Ambassadors. And they're putting on this commission on the status of women. And I know, Alexis, for you, um, you've been really wanting to focus on, from what you've shared, finance and helping women build their finances. That's one of the topics. And so if you want, you would be... Um, I would love to invite you to speak at this event as well. <laughs> um, and we could talk more about that. No pressure to say yes or no right now. But that's been a result of these past five weeks, six weeks. 
Um, and I just got off the call with them. That's why I was a little bit late to get on here. So long story short, fairies exist and we are them. <laughs> yes. Oh, Karina, I'm so proud of you. This is so <laughs> special. It was, it, this is literally you collapsing time because it feels like we just had book club. Look at everything that you've done in creating this art school, art school that heals or earth school, or could you describe it again? Art school. Art that heals, heals earth school. Art Heals Earth School. Just that name when you said it, it holds such a high vibrational frequency too. And I love it. We need an outlet, even just this outlet, your outlet for women to be able to find what it is that feels good, what it is that they want to give back to, what it is that they want to contribute to the world. That is where we feel so happy. I feel like when women are creative, that is when our true happiness, our true joy is activated. So awesome. thank you for setting this up for women. Thank you for playing such an important part in the world. It's really beautiful to see. And please email me about the invitation to that conference, to the round table. I'll take a look at it and see. Thank you so much for thinking of me.